Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content such as Camp Zero Base One, Seventeen's Nana Tour, Seventeen in the Sioux, Finding Stray Kids, Black Pink House, EXO's Ladder, EXO Showtime, A Pink Showtime, and tons of other content including extra variety shows, K dramas, animes, and movies. Hey guys, Angie here. Today we're finally checking out the Time Slip ninth album of Super Junior. I have heard quite a few of these songs. Some of them have music videos that I don't think I've seen. And if I've seen them, we'll skip them. But yeah, we have The Crown, Tiki Talkie, Shadow, I Think I, Game, Somebody New, Skydive, Heads Up, Stay With Me, Rock Your Body, No Drama, and Show. So I'm pretty sure I've heard The Crown, Tiki Talkie, I Think I, and Rock Your Body. So we might skip Tiki Talkie and Rock Your Body, but The Crown and I, th I Think I have music videos. I don't remember if I've seen the I Think I music video. I, don't, I have not seen The Crown one. It's like a lyric video. So we'll check them out. So let's hop into the video. Like I said, ooh, I've heard the song because we've done some of the tours on Patreon. Hello. Actually, this month we are starting with the first ever tour. We've only seen like the older ones, like, I mean the newer ones. I'm like, I can't understand this, it's because it's Korean. Yeah. Oh, that looks so beautiful. I just mainly remember the chorus. I think I added this to my playlist, but I don't think I've heard it a lot. Oh. I love this color on you, I'm sure has quite a bit of use for a lyric video. Oh, okay. <laughs> and this one's Bob. Ten of ten would recommend. They didn't do like a lot of the old the oh, why do I keep saying older songs? I'm, I'm saying older, I guess, because it's later in the years. But I'm referring to like they don't they didn't do a lot of for we did the uh, Super Show halftime. And a lot of them were actually older songs, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, yeah, they didn't do like The Crown and uh, Burn the Floor and all those. Like, they did like a lot of the older songs, which I thought was actually really cool. I wish groups would do that more because sometimes people who go to the newer shows never got to go to the older ones and they miss out on ever hearing those ones. So I thought that was actually really cool. But yeah, I think The Crown was like, was it the opening song of like maybe super show eight i don't know i've, I've definitely seen it perform it before because i didn't listen to it on my own i tend to avoid first for reactions also this is crazy this is five years ago but it's 2019. i don't know why it's tough for me to comprehend that <laughs> I'm really 
This is a good photo shoot. Like the outfit, not this one. The other one. Oh, that's cool. Okay. That was great. I love that. I mean, I already knew I like that song, so. But I haven't heard it in a while, so. I think I actually added this to my playlist, even though I knew I was going to react to it, because I loved it so much when I saw the live performance. I haven't heard it in a while though. My playlist doesn't like to bring for some reason. Is it really? I, I want them to go to the sound a lot more. I thought it was so cool. I remember liking the one as well. This is a good era, fashion, aesthetic wise, and everything. I feel like they were talking a lot on Super Junior Returns about trying to attract to the younger generation to maintain popularity, which I just love that they're so open about that. Like, that's so funny. I love it. Um, I think if they did songs like these, like I said, more mature songs. Like, I feel like it's trendy, the sound, but it doesn't feel like they're playing into the trendiness. It feels very natural with them because they are older and just make it a bit more sexy. Like this sound, burn the floor, the crown, like these sounds, they should do this. But of course, and maintain their like super junior sound. So don't you know, like do their other songs as well, like the ballads and stuff. But like their big songs should be more like this. And then lean into that, lean into it, make it more sexy and appealing like that. Because uh, it, it sounds good with them. These are like some of my favorite songs from them. I feel like Ayo was really good. I do think they like tried to act too cool and young though. And I feel like if they didn't hone into that, like with the fashion or everything, and if they are genuine and sincere for all of them. So I think they just stepped back a little more from that, but that type of song. It's probably one of my favorite songs from them. Seems to be a fan favorite as well. 
like a super junior lyric video in 2020 getting this many views like exactly this is oh and then yes song and oh you know, singing to get oh you know what i mean <sighs> like that song suits everybody okay new song though i don't i don't remember hearing this one so let's go if i did i don't remember I thought Don't Hate was gonna <laughs> sing. Interesting. Okay. The chorus is gonna depend on how I feel about the song. So I don't love this instrumental, but I don't hate it. Imagine what they do with it. I'm afraid it's gonna be an empty course. <laughs> this is also this came out like 2019. I think it's gonna go put it in the shadow or something like that. And then it's gonna be an empty chorus. And that's my fear. And I think that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> so I'm trying to mentally prepare for that because I hate empty courses, especially on B-sides. But I feel like it's gonna go like dun 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 dun. Do, 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 like something like empty chorus. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, that's better. Oh. It's still kind of eh, but it's Ray Wolf doing it, so. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Right. It's not my favorite song so far. <laughs> This was AO AO era though, right? So all these sounds make sense. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh boy. Oh, and hey, what's the, the verse? I just don't love the chorus. I think who's gonna sing it this time? Is this still gonna be? I think it's Mikyu. Oh, Ray looks gonna keep the chorus. Rick stands with Stanko, man. Is this Ray doing the chorus? Ooh. Oh, I love a lot of elements from the song. I just don't love the instrumental love. Well, I'm not really getting so many lines here. Like, Rayo got the chorus. This one got that awesome bridge. Oh, and hey, with the verses. Like. Oh, so yes, I'm, yes, I'm doing the ballad, right? Oh, wait, she's like, this is a good era for Shindar. He's getting cool lines. Oh, wait, we have still have Oh, he closed it? Wait, is Kayon not? No, he was over here. Okay, he got bar. I just brought. Okay. I was like, where, where is he? <laughs> I'm- I think I've seen this music video, but let's just track. I feel like I've seen it. This does not look familiar. Let's, I know this song, though. Yeah, let's go! Ready for it. Come on, girl. Why do I do this to me all the time? <laughs> oh, the velvet green on you. Yes, with the gray hair. I'm gonna die. 
I think I need a girl. I think I, I think I, I think I need a girl. I think I, I think I, I think I need a girl. I like the the camera work on this music video. I've heard I've definitely heard this a lot. I feel like they've performed it a few times. I think I've seen them perform it quite a handful of times. Um, part of this looks familiar. I'm wondering if these outfits were used for a stage, maybe for the performance, or if it was from a photo shoot. I feel like I've seen Yesung in this outfit, but. As a fan of green, and a fan of Yasung, and a fan of the gray hair, all of that together is a bit deadly. Ito is really hoeing it out for us, like we love it. Oh, he chose hair looks a little more pink or something. Oh, yeah, I'm wondering if Shinong had uh, says in this, like if he was directing this. A lot of the camera just reminds me of his stuff. Why are you cheating on me? Like, what the fuck? On your <laughs> He's always dancing with people. Part of me would selfishly love to hear Yesung sing the song solo. But that's me being selfish. I love hearing the rest of together here. Did you hear earlier? Mm, I love. It. They're talking about dancing, and no one's dancing. Don't hit. <laughs> Don't hit me. <laughs> Only Oh Hope is dancing in the video. She's pretty. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I love Rayla's voice in this. Ooh. I need Yesan to have like a solo song like this. <laughs> this sounds so good on him. There's a lot of his solo music. <laughs> Go off. I feel like Kieran's not getting as much as usual. I wonder if I'm going crazy. I love the suit on him. Don't hit it. Oh, Shinong directs most of their videos, right? So I'm wondering, he must have done this one. This video is cool. I loved it, personally. Probably one of my favorites from them. You know, no, like, <laughs> only unhook. They did spy. <gasps> they did spy. I forgot to say that. I mean, you guys know, but they did spy. At the halftime super show. Oh, you guys need to please join my Patreon if you wish. Um, I it was so good. I was so excited. Um, oh, remember when I reacted to? Oh, I think that's why I think I've seen this video. This could be, um, whatever. I remember watching this and being like falling in love with the song. My goodness, good times, guys. Good times. Yeah. All right, game, new song. I have no like recollection of this song. Like I don't, I don't think I've ever heard of it. It was me, cringy. Let's see what these lyrics are about. I'm scared. There we go. I was missing Kyo's voice. Yes, I'm so good in that picture. 
This countdown of a reference to the being Yabu? I want to like that fun song. It's like house party before house party. I feel like yes, I'm seeing so many good parts. Maybe I just miss the voice. Okay, you ready? Let's go. All right, you and me, dropping now. Let's bring it back. Who did this group? Was it Angel? <laughs> Maybe? Lots of unkill rapping. Oh, I should have that new Kartok on song reading. I feel like Onyok loves raps here. <laughs> Super Junior Times with album credits. Like this could be a donkey song, but it doesn't sound like a donkey song, so... Let's see. I don't think there's probably a lot of... Picho Onyok. I don't think Onyok wrote his, lyri his, his lyrics and Picho probably wrote. Picho doesn't play that on that many Superman songs, this is interesting. Okay, Zabob. Have you heard this one? I, I feel like they should have performed at a concert, but I don't remember it. I must just not remember. Like, I can see them doing like a weird dance like this or something. And I'm envisioning a fun encore song. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't partake a lot on this album. I love Ravo's voice on this, okay. <gasps> Zico wrote You guys probably told me this I did not know this though So if you guys told me I forgot He did this song yeah, yeah, yeah. That Makes so much sense Cause it's a really it's 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 a really good song. I prefer it over Super Clap, um, and I love Zigo. So like that just makes like it just all that just connected everything in my brain. It all makes sense to me now. That makes so much sense. That's so random though. Are they friends? Must be. And he's like practically the only credits on that song. There's like one other person. It's crazy. Anyways, I saw that when I was like looking at the thing. Wow, he just... Okay. Mm -hmm. He's doing it like... No. Why is this not familiar? <laughs> Why did, did they... Ah. Oh. Um, it must. Let me. Let's hit this in 19. Well, they were only. It must have been Super Show 9. 
nine set list. Is it nine or eight? I can't remember. Mm. Is that on here? Why do I know this song? <laughs> okay. I love their like sad song. Sexy arms, ice cream, dance practice. I like when groups just do like little videos like this though. It just makes like, I don't know, it's very sweet and cute. Somebody knew, somebody knew. Okay, let's see if it was the half time show then. Because it wasn't on Super Show 9. No, where did I play before this? Wait. Don't I? It was Lee and then Donkey? I like some of them lip sync their parts, and some of them are just like. No, I didn't. I'll hear this in voice here. Somebody knew live, let's see. Somebody knew, somebody. It was SS8, okay. What was SS8? Super Show 8. Cause... Was I a fan during this time? Okay, that makes sense. It was like right after the album and right before COVID. So I'm like, how? Yeah, and then they canceled some shows. Okay. I was thinking SS8 was like 2018, maybe? Because of COVID, obviously. Because the album came out in 2019, so I was like, there's no way they could have toured it. But it's Super Junior. They will tour right after an album. Mm -hmm. So it was Super Show 8. And that's why, okay, that's why I know the song so well. It's because I've seen Super Show A and Super, I think we saw Super Show 9. Or at least some of the performances. And they did, like, I think I and The Crown and stuff. So, and somebody knew. So obviously, I've heard it a few times. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Skydive. I love what Ethan's voice on this album. And he sounds a little like Red Woods comes to me. What? Red Woods seems so much like in this album. Ah, this is Empty Wars one. I knew there was gonna be more Empty Wars. He's doing a lot of like, he's doing a lot of like, fun things with his voice on his album. And I kind of like, I'm like, oh, what if he do like an album, a solo album with this type of singing style? This feels a bit dated. But I feel like this is more like 2016, 2017. But I'm just a hater of this type of songs, so. <laughs> Oh, I think rapping improves so much every album. Why did it sound like you like sing Japanese there? Oh, it sucks. I, I love Rayo's voice on this. Rayo really eats its voice on this song. But I don't like the chorus. I also am not a fan of this instrumental. I don't like this type of sound. Oh?
I think I prefer really that's voice on this part, but I like Keon's voice too. Keon. <laughs> Keon's voice. Keon's voice. Yeah, I don't like this song. I think this one's my least favorite, but it's not bad on it. I like that Ooh. I like the boop. This would be a fun live song though. I don't think it was on one of the set list though. I love this actually all the other videos have a lot of views. Hmm? Yeah, I don't see them on the set list. They're interesting. I feel like this would be a fun live song. Maybe the guys don't like this one that much either. <laughs> I don't know, it's not my favorite. Well, I mean, it's not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I probably won't add that one to the playlist. Heads up. There's a song that Ito partook with writing on. It's not this one, I don't think. Let me see. Nope. It's called No Drama. Wait, Rock Your Body's not on here. I'm confused. Huh. Rock Your Body is not on this album. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Take that off. Mm. Oh, Rocky Body is on here. Dang it. I just deleted it. I was in the wrong album. That's why. Put it back on. I love. Wait. It sounds. Wait. Wait. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. This sounds so good for them. This suits them so much. It's like a bit grungy and mysterious and dark, gritty, gritty, not actually gritty. This is my favorite. One of my favorites from this album. Oh. oh, that like nasally like delivery. Or like, I don't know, it was like, it was like, I don't know if nasally is the word, but it had like a bit of uh to it. It was like, uh, I don't know, I'll call it nasally. <laughs> oh, do you want to hear Rewa? This is Rewa's album. Fight me. Fight me. Rewa stands unite. 
Honestly, my bias line is really like attacking me though. I don't know. I feel like I just realized it's called Hisong Biased because it's Hichul and G uh Hichul and Yesung. This whole time I thought they I read it wrong and I thought it was Hisong from Unhype and I was like from 2019 that doesn't make sense. Now I'm realizing it is he he chill in yes I'm good bias line up yeah like I don't know like I'm not gonna sit here and lie my bias line kind of delivering here like really yes I'm and Hyuk are just destroying his album uh, but we're getting a lot of good parts from Shindong and Itook as well I feel like she wins barely in this album um Donghae has had a few parts here and there but I feel like you and he's kind of like I'm wondering if it was like scheduling stuff. But I don't think that's how they would care about recording time. I'm used to Hito either not singing or getting like one line. Um, but I feel like Shiwon and Donghae usually get a bit more. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's because the style just suits uh, Yesung, Reibok, and Onhyuk's vocals that they're going for on this album. I'm not going to complain though. Definitely love it. I, def I feel like I've heard this song. I have to put rock your body back up. Let me see where were we. I'm just saying, that's your baby. Baby, just me. Okay, I've heard this song. <laughs> I this is on my playlist. I do not need to hear it. I know it far too well. This song actually annoys me because I feel like my playlist. Play that song way too much. I'm make sure this is the right order. I mean, it doesn't matter. This is, yeah, yeah. I I'm kind of actually tired of that song. It's it's drives me crazy. I had to take it off my set, my my playlist. All right, rock your body. I'm scared. This is literally. Wait, how have you guys not told me about the song? I'm about to throw up. This is literally my biases. I'm shaking. <laughs> And it's called Rock Your Body. This is going to be either really cringy or really sexy or really cringy and sexy. Or neither. Maybe it's not what I'm thinking it is, but the title. I don't know if I'm ready. Wait, they know me so well. Oh, I'm scared. It's going to be so good or so bad. <laughs> this is 2019. I feel like we're past cringy songs from them. I don't know. It's still Super Junior. They could throw in a cringy song. I don't know. Oh, look at real. These pictures are even kind of, oh, you know? Hey, mm -hmm. okay, before we continue. Have I heard this song? It sounds vaguely familiar. It's like I definitely didn't hear it a lot, but it feels like I've maybe heard it once. So this one, Super Show Eight. Mm, no. Oh, I mean, it's, it's interesting. They didn't do unit songs, or at least not like they did Roku Go and What Is Your Name, but like. Okay, so it's not looking to be like this, a doctor's song or anything. Oh, that's cool. No, oh, that was no hug. Those are cringy, but it's alright. Rock your body! I've heard this song. Rock your body. I love that to get like a really sexy song here, but so ready, you know, some bye. Okay. 
Aquí estaré. Gracias. From seventeen, I think maybe that. I know I've definitely heard that. Like that little part, like. But it's not on the. It's not on the set. List. So where have I heard it? If not on this one. Unless I'm missing it. And then it's not on this one. Hmm. Suspicious. Is it rock your body or rock your body? Rock your body live? Was it accidentally in my playlist, maybe? Or maybe someone did send me it for like a request. And maybe that must be it. Someone must have requested it a long time ago and I had I added it to my playlist of course and I just forgot that I've reacted to it. Oh well, listen to it again. Because I was, like, in the beginning of my journey, sent songs. <laughs> this is the part that's familiar to me. It's like, this song was literally made for me. <laughs> Wait, that was... I hope that was Ray for a second, jeez. But that's not Oh yeah, I didn't get to see the And that's why I thought this song was wrong. I had to check the uh, extended Repackage Oh, I didn't get to see the Oh yeah, I didn't get to see the Oh yeah, I didn't get to see the Right, another unit song here, let's see. This one's written by Ito. Ito? This is beautiful. It looks everywhere. Okay, yeah. Don't care. And someone named One Way. Mm -hmm. This suits his ways. Why doesn't he took to soul music? I guess it's not his passion. I wonder if he got to like pick the members and everything too. Like he was like he wrote it with them in mind. Like oh, he took or yes, someone would do like this part. Or okay, this part. Oh, I really like his style with them. Oh. Is there anything they can't do? Drama only 
you No spoiler, no drama, only you 필요해 널러 떠나지 마라 너 틈이 나지 않게 내가 있을게 너와 함께 있을게 yeah, yeah, yeah. 넌게 좀 왠지 몰라도 나보다 창문을 가까이 해 yeah. 내가 못 마땅한 건지 하는 말마다 딴 들을 걸지 우리의 대화는 남기로 타고 This is like a different delivery from him it's like he's singing with like a lower voice. Didn't even sound like he took there. Ooh, I wish I was so rough. Ooh, he sounds so good in the background. It's one of my favorite songs on this album. No spoiler, no drama, only you. And I liked when he's rapping on it. Sometimes I don't love his raps. I was like, oh, getting, I thought we'd cool if it ended there, but it would've been really short. I always think it's kind of bold to end on like a, a rap. <laughs> no, Lee. Like, he really got to. It suited him. But he also didn't give himself like all the lines. Like, everyone got like such good parts. I'm jealous. Oh. The jealousy. This one's called Show. Mm. Oh, I read that one. I don't, I've never seen a video, so. Is this the last tour he took part in? Oh, this was such a good concert. Yeah, we're gonna be doing... One, two, three, five? I think those are the ones, but... Oh, someone told me which ones I haven't seen yet, which I'll look back at that post again um but i think after that we can also do specific concerts of the tours like i've seen like one in japan and one in seoul and stuff and maybe we can do because when i got into super junior i was requested like super show seven super show eight but like i barely knew them and i didn't really know the songs and stuff so i think maybe we can go back to those ones as well and check those ones out and i can do just different concerts of that tour if that makes sense like the one that i didn't see um because yeah i don't i mean i vaguely remember this one because i remember them sitting here and stuff and it was this hairspray or something i don't remember which song it was but i don't remember it that well uh, like the newer ones i remember more because i know the all the members i know all the songs for the most part uh yeah, I have to go back. Um, but we do the tours on Patreon, of course, because if you do more than a certain amount of performances, they get blocked. But I'm excited to see the first tour. I'm really excited. But, like I just remember like specific performances, but I don't remember like the whole like the shows and stuff. <laughs> Oh, born to listen. 
I think this is the first tour I reacted to. Because I remember calling yes, yeah, I like the blonde guy. And I was like, is that? I think I, I could pick him out and I really liked him. I'm, I might be wrong. I just vaguely remember that. So this is, is this where they did... Um... Is this the tour with Sorry Sorry Answer? Yeah, is it, I'm wondering if this is the... I mean, obviously, Heechul has been in like, maybe like, one performance from Stone Tours. Like, he did show up in... The Halftime video and stuff. Oh, he looks so good. Yeah, yeah, the drums. Oh my god. I'm getting like, like baby elf, elf memories. I have really nostalgic from this tour. Because I remember like tiny parts of it. I think that was, I think that performance was answer. Who edited this? Like, it's like a fan video. Like the timing and everything. Yeah, it feels like a fan video. It's so cute. This is a, this is probably my favorite album. No, like, this song is so cute. It reminds me of like um, Girls Generation. Is it Honey? Like those songs. Oh, uh, and like uh, TVXU Bloom. Oh, okay, I forgot the song, but like, uh, like some of those songs. Um, this is probably my favorite album just because I don't know. I do love. I think consistency. Consistently, this is my favorite album. But there's like two songs I don't care much about. But it has E I E I O, and then it has the Crown, Tiki Taki, Shadow. I think I. Game, somebody new, heads up, rock your body, no drama. So those are my favorite songs. I do love show and stay with me. I think I just heard them so many times and specifically stay with me annoys me a bit because I've heard it so much. And then I do like, um, what's the other child track? Not yeah, 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 yeah. The other title track, I can't remember the name right now, because <laughs> it's not my favorite. But, like, I do like it. It wasn't a bad song, it's just not my favorite one. Um, is Taylor title track? I can't remember. Um, but definitely love this. Like, this, this album was so consistently good. Everyone had, like, such good parts. I felt like Kyuyeon, Shiwan, and I know, obviously, he Joel, like, they... Didn't do a lot here, but I don't really care much for Shimon's voice anyways. I do like um, his voice in some parts. Like, he had a good part in it Shadow. Did he start Shadow? Was that the song where he started? And don't, don't he start? And I was like, oh, it, yeah. I liked his part because I like how he does the sorry, sorry part. Like, his part in sorry, sorry. Um, I felt like he reminded me of that a little bit. But he didn't really get much. But he also doesn't usually get a lot. I mean... Him and Itok and Hichol usually don't get and, and Shinong don't get many lines. Shinong have really good parts. I think towards the second half of the album, obviously he wasn't in two of the songs. Um, I didn't hear him a lot in show, but I wasn't paying much attention to who was singing. I was like looking at the video. Uh, but the parts he did get was really good. What is this? What is this? Wait. Sorry, I just saw a Super Junior video that I've never seen before. What is this? Super Junior pre-debut show, episode 18, Sleeping and Waking Up. What is this? I gotta watch this. Show. 
Oh, it's called The Super Junior Show. Oh, I gotta watch that. Yeah, we're gonna be... We're finishing Analog Trip on Patreon. Oh yeah, this is my video before I forget. And I'm doing another poll to replace that. Um, the one that I won last time is to do concerts because I don't have concerts like on the schedule usually because people usually recommend them, but a lot of people don't recommend the earlier ones, but I'm curious about them. Um, because I, I think most people prefer their newer songs. I really love the debut and like the Don't Done and the, I read the name of the debut album, but the debut album, I love those songs and they usually don't leave my playlist. So I personally really want to check those out. Plus they don't do like Twins and Don't Done and um, no other and stuff and you, they don't do those a lot. So I would like to see them. So I, we did, I did win the poll. So the plan is to do half, um, cause the tours are usually, depending on how long it is, two hours long usually. So like one hour the first month and then another hour the second month. Um, but we are, we're finishing analog trip. So we're going to be doing, um, oh wait, was that for analog trip? Oh no, my brain broke. I think we're finishing all about Super Junior this month. Let me check. I think I got confused here. Okay, I'm gonna check the poll because now I got confused. We're finishing a lot of Super Junior stuff and it's been... I think the, the concerts were replacing Analog Trip, but I thought Analog Trip only had 10 episodes, it had 12. So I, I'm i going to be putting the concerts for that, but... All About Super Junior ends next month. We're doing the fourth one this month, and then we're doing the um, fifth the fifth disc next month. Uh, let me check. Let me check here. Okay. Wait. 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 So we have Super Junior Returns. Yeah. <laughs> me going over the schedule with you guys. Super Junior Returns has how many episodes left? Um, let's check here um because we oh oh no <sighs> there it is okay i found it mm. super junior returns two we just did episode four let's see how many episodes there are seven eight yeah okay Seven and eight. Okay. We have like a lot of stuff on the schedule, like for like the poll and everything. But I I know some people like certain members more than other members. So I know like I'm unhook biased. So people who like unhook a lot probably really like my videos with him and like D and stuff. Um totally understandable mood. <laughs> Um, but I do like Itook and Raybook and stuff, and so I'm like, oh, if we do like too many things without like Unhyuk and Donghae for one, I would be a little sad. But also, it would feel because we we have like Itook's um we got married, and then Super Junior Returns was mainly Itook, Hichul, and Shinnong for a little bit, but now Dini are in it, and I think Raybook's gonna be coming in. Um, but then ah. Uh, Analog Trip is ending, and we're replacing with concerts, which is really good. And then we have, so we have, we got married, Analog, Super Junior Returns, and All About Super Junior. So those are like the four, I think that's it, the four things. And I'm trying to keep like four Super Junior things on here because I really like watching them. And most of my people on Patreon are either for, like, Wanna One, Girl Generation, Super Junior, and the Zero Base One. Like, those people. Um, which is fine. But, yeah. And then, like, scattered about for other things. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like updating you guys. So, if you want to check out Patreon, I think I'll do a poll next month. And I'll do a poll this month. And start a new show next month because we're going to be finishing all about Super Junior next month. So I think that's what I was doing and I confused myself because I'm confused. But that is the plan.
you guys just let, let me know how you feel so if you want to join patreon for the new journey that we're going on and touch up on things that you've missed because there's almost 300 super junior videos on patreon right now without the new stuff um and then if you join you can vote for what we watch next month and what's on the poll is itok and Rebox, i think it's called like their switzerland trip or something um the super junior show um i think it's a show called full house which reminds me of full house whatever happened to predictability um unhook's mr house husband i said to find links to that because the links i had were gone and then there's something else like it's like a the mini drama but it's called something else i i was calling it the wrong thing and yeah but yeah that was a great album i'm looking forward to starting their concerts from debut and i'll see you guys in the next video bye Oh, <laughs>